Hey, good day, guys. Sam here from Trade to Prosper to give you a market update. And this is gold. And uh, while we're looking at gold, yeah, well, there's a good opportunity for long term. And the fiat system is pretty much in overdrive in printing money. As you know, inflation rates, there's only the evidence for it. So, what we have here is a good chart. Um, some time back, many years ago, I did call this out that this was a cup and uh, or inverted head and shoulders yeah either way it was an accumulation and a breakout and we we, we actually picked this exactly on the spot and um, it was based on this theory as you can see um, so we did pick this and I uh, and since then it, it came down you can see the patterns can't you up it goes so that is a, a nice formation to the upside. So this cup, and you can say this is pretty much a handle or consolidation. But what you can see is from a macro perspective, it is a continuation pattern to the upside. What gives that evidence is the structure. What is profound about it is the inflation and the flight away from the dollar. And uh, pretty much it. Um, inflation is killing the dollar. The BRICS is going to kill the dollar more so. And so... in um, precious metals like gold is where you want to put your safety in. What's happening now is also the bond market is probably likely to have more risk as well. And what you can see from many things geopolitically, um, the US dollar is not doing well. Banks are in trouble, so they print another few trillion, whatever it was. So that's what's happening. Now, what, what the real sad thing about it is, Gold is actually being controlled with paper, gold, paper, paper gold. Many years ago, when um, they realised that gold is a problem for the US dollar power, they started to create this strategy, which is to create paper money or paper gold, flood the market with it, with all this fake gold. So every ounce has 85 ounces of fakeness out there. So they control the price, and still they can't hold it. There is not enough gold to go around, and the most important part is that the, the reserve banks all around the world are starting to accumulate gold in a big way, especially the BRIC nations that are interested in it because their new currency is going to be backed by gold and resources such as gold, um, such as oil and gas and so on. So gold is being accumulated big time from the big players. And uh, so what do we have? We have a bullish sentiment. 216, that's what I'm looking at. 2618 column ratio. So what, what we have here was a bond ring effect, inverted head and shoulders, we called that out, and we actually hit that target. You can look at my training view some time back, and I called this out. Pretty much spack bang on the dot. I love it. Anyway, so what we're looking at is, from a number of perspectives, what gold is likely to do. We, we are looking for this to break out. So if we use our... Fibonacci wave count A, B, C. I did that wrong. Sorry, guys. Let me do it again. Uh, that's our A there. Whoops. Let's just get rid of that. If you let me. There we go. But this is our A. That's our B. That's our C. D. And I do expect a bit of a pullback. So what we have is our Correction waves A, B, C, or five wave count. Another A, B, C, another five wave count, another A, B, C, five wave count, and and so on. It wouldn't surprise me that this it comes back down here, and then we get this big drive. So the all-time high, it's just broken about it. It's retesting it, as you can see. So the all-time high back down in 2011 has been uh, incremental. To this structure. So let's have a closer look. You can see this purple line. Let's just make that red. And so our previous. Nice. But that, you can see how much times it actually played as support. So this is a weekly chart. 
Acura support and it didn't go further up. So once it broke that, you can see how it came down. Again, resistance, resistance, support, and slightly resistance. And now we can see why the Fibonacci is coming into it and the 1.618. Now, if we were to look at the short term target, we will look at the height of this. And so we're going to do that type of thing. Maybe. Yeah, here we go. So they're the targets. I think that these are targets short term, but long term, I still think 3,000 round up to there is going to be it. Now, what we can do is change this a bit. And we can also look at this range here, these guys here. So just changing the Fibonacci logs setup. Yep. And we have some confluence. So in this case, it's a 414. It's 1.414 that acted as resistance. And 1.272 acted as support. Or previous. So you can see how this works. So that is my target, immediate target. And a significant one would be this altogether from there to there. And that... Uh, it does look like it. So that is our minimum target from that structure. And in some cases, from the neckline up, and again, it still fits that target. So this is my macro outlook, guys. And we're approaching resistance. So if you were to looking for a trade, uh, you probably missed it way, way there. Um, that would have been a nice 618 pullback. Yep. 3 out of 2, so it's golden ratio as well. And there you go. So this is a Wyckoff accumulation. Now we can do this as well. Just give me a sec. So there we go. Here we go. That's the structure. And we, we are looking for a nice bullish move to the top. And I stuffed up the screen for whatever reason. I'm not going to try to fix it at the moment. But there we go. This is a nice continuation pattern, guys. Um, I would start it. If you missed it, um, it, it, it might not pull back. But uh, it might well as well. Um, it just might just run through because it could be a 1, 2, 3 move. Either way, this is a, a good, good structure to go bullish. And uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Please give me a like and share. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers.